a line has been drawn in the sand. Withdraw or face the sandstorm. Hello YouTube! This is Chris Maniac bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And now this battle is against Antonio, the last time he's on my channel. We had a lousy battle without any OU Pokemon, but now we have OU Pokemon all over the place. And I brought my Sandstorm team, and um, Antonio looks like he has a pretty balanced um, team right here. Uh, I guess uh, he has a, a special wall in the form of uh, Snorlax, Snorlax, and the uh, defensive wall in the form of Manibuzz and like a whole bunch of OU Pokemon basically that are um, pretty good, so this should be a good game. Anyways, I bring out Sahara as my lead just to like scout. I'm just gonna go off a U-turn or anything. And um, in brings his, he brings in his Azumarill and I go for U-turn right here, not fearing his Aqua Jet because even though it would do like 50% to me with Ban and um, with huge power, like that would take me out. And he, he would lock himself into that, so that'd be nice. Anyways, I bring in Philippines. He goes for the waterfall. That is great. I resist that. I resist both of, the, of this thing's stabs, so that's why I have a uh, Venusaur out of here. Anyways, he withdraws, fearing the Giga Drain, and I he sends out his Mandibuzz just to uh, not fall asleep because his um, because Mandibuzz has Overcoat, and that prevents the use of sleeping moves such as um, Sleep Powder. Well, well, Powder moves, anyways. Anyways, I have Mega Evolve into my Mega Venusaur. At least the incoming Mandibuzz that is great. I can't really touch this thing and I can only just like suck out soul. So yeah, thank you man, but I'll just suck out your health right now and like um, bring it into mine. And um, that's great, I can just stay in here, sludge bomb this thing, barrage this thing, hope for a poison maybe. He goes for a taunt, and um, that, I'm fine with that, I'm good. I don't need to like uh, leech seed anymore, because I already had leeched on you, haha. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just suck out that thing soul even more, yum yum. And I'm sorry guys for um, the awkward um, video. Because if you might notice, like it's not, um, it, there's like a black area on the size of the screen. I recorded this wrong, but whatever. It's still a pretty good match, anyways, and it's still the same thing. Um, anyways, in comes the Caesar. I switch, out, I switch out into my Amaswine, and he evolves into a Mega Caesar. I don't want that thing like setting up on me, so I just straight go for the Earthquake right here, just dealing damage to this thing. Because uh, I don't want, to, <laughs> I don't want this thing just to like sweep my team. He goes for a Surge Dance. That's great because I have a Focus Dash and live a bullet punch, and um, yeah, Mammoth just go keeps going for an Earthquake, rocking this thing's world, um, just shaking everything. He goes for the Thief, um, I don't know why he went for the bullet punch right there. Um, he would also Caesar, um, that's fine, and uh, he goes into a Zemuro, and I go for a third, actually oh, no I don't, I go for the Ice Shard right here, fearing a bullet punch, and um, that, that, that's a great position on my opponent's part. He just bring in the Zimmeral, uh, make his guest Caesar to you know, like live, and uh, take out my Mamoswine with um, Aqua Jet. So Mamoswine did a pretty good amount of damage in this battle, especially to that Caesar. That Caesar is a threat, and um, I don't have any fire moves to take it out in one shot. So I bring in my Mega Venusaur again, just to like uh, get off the Leech Seed or anything. So I think I'm just Buzz. I hit, I don't I miss the Leech Seed, which is pretty annoying. And then now I'm just gonna try to take this thing out with Sludge Bombs. Um, hopefully he doesn't go for Roost, but he went for Roost, and. All that work earlier is kind of useless, except some things have healed up a bit, so that's nice. Um, I go for another Sludge Bomb right here, just trying to bring this thing down. Um, he goes for a Taunt right here, now I can't really do much of that against this thing. And, um, yeah, I switch out of there, not because I know I can't do anything against that 90 Buzz. I bring in Brent Hildier, that my Caesar banded, um, just trying to get off U-turn or anything, and U-turn would do a whole lot to that 90 Buzz, even though that thing's physically defensive, probably. So he comes his own Caesar, and I get off. Actually, he um he um goes for a thief right here, and that doesn't do that much. He's doing that Mega Caesar, and they got to beat um uh, U-turn off, and that Mega Caesar that takes it right out. So a Caesar beat a uh, Mega Caesar, so that is great. That still proves to you folks that some Megas aren't um as strong as their original. Well, actually, um they both have very different roles actually, so I can't say that. Anyways, it comes great and powerful. Um and he outspeeds, which sucks. I, I how does this um thing outspeed? It's probably timid, probably. Um, yeah, so that this thing's probably timid. That's at start. So um, I, that that's why it probably has sped. And my spell ha has been taken out right away. I could have went for the superpower and absolutely annihilated that thing. Anyways, I bring in my Tyranitar. I can take any move that this guy brings out of me. And set the Sandstorm. Now it's time to bring the Operation Desert Storm. Sandstorm rather. And uh, I don't know, like just 
Uh, my, my Pokemon loves Sandstorm. Uh, they just love it. And the other team doesn't like Sandstorm because it, it gets hit by um, Sandstorm damage for chip damage every turn. It's up. Anyways, I set the Stealth Rocks on the Switch. I bring in Philippines because I know that I can take any stat move this thing attacks any. And he goes for a Play Rough. That is fine. Philippines could tank that. Um, delicious, nutritious, just eating it all up. Um, and hopefully this guy stays in for a Giga Drain. And um, we both hit by Sandstorm. Um, I'm fine with that because I can just eat up all the Azumarill's health with a Giga Drain. Delicious! And Philippines just uh, takes out the Azumarill. So that is great. Um, that Azumarill is down. That's a big threat out of the way. And uh, yeah, it's out of the game. Uh, Philippines gets hit, it gets hit by more Sandstorm. That's fine because I just gained all that HP back by a Giga Drain last turn. Um, anyway, I go for a Leech Seed. I miss again, and um, that sucks. And uh, he goes for the um, Wildewisp right here. He's just trying to like do some chip damage to my uh, Venusaur. And uh, it's gonna really rack up with Sandstorm on the field. But we're both getting hurt by Sandstorm anyways. But then again, he has uh, Leftovers, which um, takes away the damage that Sandstorm deals to him. So um, yeah, I get hurt by Burn and Sandstorm, which sucks. I go for Sleep Powder and I miss again, and that sucks! Uh, my my Venus Star is like can't really see the Sandstorm, I guess, because uh, I missed two attacks, which have a pretty good chance of hitting. Um, so yeah, the Sandstorm goes away, and that's and hopefully without the Sandstorm, I can just put this thing to sleep um, and uh, hit something. And then we see that we throw us a Jellicent, It does not work in that in that time. In comes this Mandy Buzz, and right here I go for what do we go for? About Giga Drains. Just trying to just trying to get my HP back, I guess. So I go for Giga Drain. And that heals Philippines up a little bit, that's fine, because um, this burn is doing a lot of damage to me. And I just try to take out that thing with Dutch Bomb next turn. So that goes to Mandibuzz finally. That thing is a big tank, and uh, it finally goes down. So bye bye Mandibuzz. And Philippines is living at 9 HP with this burn, just hanging on, and it comes great and powerful. And right here, I know that I can just go into my Tyranitar and just take any attack that this thing brings on me. So I switch on to my Tyranitar, and yeah, Tyranitar is a very good. Um, Tyranitar and Venusaur have very good synergy with each other because they resist both of each other's weaknesses. Anyways, he goes for a Surf right here. Even though that's a super effective move, that doesn't do much because of the lack of stab and because of my Sandstorm and I have max HP, max special defense on this Tyranitar. So Tyranitar is just eating it all up, getting up all the uh, moves that this guy throws at me. And yeah, that's what Sandstorm team is all about. This Sandstorm team basically because it's made to be very defensive. Anyways, there he comes with Snorlax. And I go for a stone edge right here, hitting that thing with sharp pointy stones from its butt. And um, he gets buffeted by a sandstorm, so I get to be KO this thing if I hit the second um, stone edge. And hopefully I do, because I've been missing a lot in this match. And I to go for a stone edge. I miss! I miss! And he goes for the rest right here. I'm fine with that because he could be put to sleep. And um, this thing's probably rest still chest though, so I'm like, oh damn, that thing was just recovered all its health back. But that's fine, I, I spent its uh, rest of chest though up. And I can just hit this thing with constant stone edges and hopefully take it out. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that my Tyranitar keeps hitting stone edge on a consistent basis. So I go for a crunch right here. I'm hoping for a defense drop or something. It doesn't do much to this guy. And he goes for a stockpile. I'm like, oh damn, this is scary because this stone edge could potentially sweep me. I hate stockpilers. And they can, they can just destroy my team, basically. Um, <laughs> I don't have any phasers in this team. So I'm hoping for a stone edge crit on my next stone edge. So that's what I go for, hoping for a crit. I hit that thing with pointing stones and I get a crit! So I guess that makes up for all my misses that earlier and that's great. That thing is a plus two right now and that's fine because I think I'll do this one next turn. So um, yeah, Sandstorm stop, subsides, that kind of sucks because his Norlocks can't get chip damage every turn from Sandstorm and that would be very useful, especially those um, with those stockpiles up. I switch out of here and I go into Philippines just to put this thing to sleep or something. Um, and he withdraws the Snorlax. That's fine by me. And uh, he brings out his Grim Powerful. And uh, yeah, um, he, he gets points so stuck into him. Philippines gets um, destroyed as um, Hail, uh, Switch Fodder basically. And um, down goes Philippines. Doing a really good amount of damage to this guy's team this match. And then he comes Terrazar, set so, so the stand again. That is great because now with the stones and with the my Sandstorm, his Snorlax is basically down. Anyways, he withdraws Grim Powerful. And out comes Snorlax, and this is what I was going for. Um, yeah, he just get hurt by stones. Actually, not even with Sandstorm, he would get taken out. So down goes the Snorlax, down goes the fat um, bear thing. Is that thing a bear? What is that thing? 
Anyways, in comes this great and powerful. Not really great and powerful when compared to my Tyranitar because this Draco Meteor won't do anything, especially because he misses. That miss didn't really matter because um, I could just uh, take that um, Draco Meteor really well, probably. So, the combination of Stone Edge and Sandstorm, um, that Hydreigon gets taken out. So, Sandstorm is doing me very well in this match. Anyways, it comes Jellicent, and uh, I could just uh, hit that thing with a crunch, eat that jelly right up. Delicious, nutritious jelly. Um, and um, that does a lot of damage to this guy. He goes for the, for the recover futilely because I could just take this thing out with another uh, crunch next turn. And uh, yeah, and he could have went for the skull right there, but then again, I would have just kept crunching. And that is basically GG by this point. So my Tyranitar does a lot of work this match, just eating up all the Pokemon, eating up all the hits. And that um, thing is down, that Jellison. So GG Antonio, that was a very good match. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you folks next time!